All right, so today I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. And for a chance to win an overpaint from me, I stick to the end to hear the instructions. Before we get into the painting, I need to explain you something very important, and that is match color. Match color is a way to grab the color information of a layer and transfer it to another layer. Uh, in this case, I want to change the, the, the colors of this plant to match this plant over here, because that plant is in, is in the environment. So the idea is that you go, you select the layer that you want to change, go to image, adjustment, you select match color. I have a shortcut for that. Uh, here, you select in source, you select the scene. The scene is the file that you are working on. In layers, you select you select the layer that you want to grab the colors from. Click here, and then you click OK. That's it. I'm going to be repeating the process for everything. Match color is the most useful tool for creating photo washing paintings. Uh, all right, let's listen to some blues. <laughs> Uh, so the reason I decided to to do this overpaint is because um, a really good artist I don't know if I if I should say his name but um, he was looking over my portfolio and he he saw that painting the, the old painting and he told me that it was good the composition was good but but it could be better so and I did that painting in 2016. And it was in, in a hangout. I was talking with some some of my friends, and I did it, it in, in like two hours or something like that. It was re really quick. Uh, but then I, uh, because he told me that, I decided uh, to 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 do it to to make the painting again. Um, by the way, the reference thing that the, the program at the beginning was pure ref. That is. A really good program to do uh, to put all your references over there. Uh, another thing that, that I want to talk about here is that it is very useful. It's very super useful to save a lot of your PNG files. Like say that you are doing a painting and you crop uh, the background, save that file. Uh, have a library of already cut out pieces that you can use later. Um, also, match color is is perfect for texture too. Um, it is re it's really versatile. Uh, it's re it is a very useful tool for for us. Um, I wanted to capture like a, a creepier feeling, and I spent a lot of time, like a lot of time, uh, working on that tree on the right. I wanted to emphasize the lighting a little more to make it look more interesting. If you see me there, I'm I'm going for I'm trying to find like a creepier uh, trees. Uh, I didn't end up using that tree. Uh, I don't know. I thought that the colors were weird, and at the end I changed the tree like four or five times. Uh, it was one of the things that I was coming back to every once in a while. So, all right, you see me there. Uh, I I grab it soon. When I saw that tree, I thought that it was a really good idea to have like a twisted, uh, creepier tree shapes. You know, uh, it, it it was good for the mood of the painting that I wanted to create and. And it was perfect for the environment. So this is Photoshop uh, CC. Uh, it's a 4K painting. I I can't work. <laughs> I mean I can, but Photoshop gets too laggy if I go beyond 4K. So that is my and the reason for that is that I have a shitty laptop and I work on that. I don't have a really powerful computer. Hmm. See me there, this is some line drawing, painting, trying to figure out what to do. Uh, if Sorry if the, if the video is too fast. The reason that it is too fast is because this took me a lot of, a lot of time to, to create. Uh, I didn't want the video to be so long that it would be really boring to watch.
So if you see me there, I already have like a shape for the tree and what I'm doing is like I'm selecting, I'm grabbing like a texture from another tree and placing that on top of another tree. That's kind of weird, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I was trying uh, to make a channel selection, but at the end it didn't work out. I, I, I just did a, a normal transform and placed the texture on top of that. Um, yeah, the tree took a lot of time. I, I don't, I don't know why this, uh, the tree took me so, so long to create. Mm. At the same time, I, I wanted to portray like a more. Um, I mean, the old composition had a really good feeling, but it was lacking on the technical side and on the, I don't know, it wasn't that beautiful and, and I thought that maybe. I uh, adding like I'm I don't know keep working on it uh, and making more interesting decisions and playing more with the light was going to be like, uh, a very useful thing to do for the painting. I also struggle a lot to find the right the right texture for the leaf and I don't know why sometimes, dude I. <laughs> I don't understand, but sometimes you you, you you are working and you spend time. I, th I think that a lot of time, uh, a lot of the time that you spend working uh, is about uh, making the right decisions. And I just spend a lot of time uh, trying out a lot of different thing things. I was looking for some a good tree uh, for good leaf shape, but they didn't feel right, so... Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. You may see me there, I'm jumping around uh, to to let my mind, like, um, fine, <laughs> to let my mind figure out what to do with the tree. It's one of the things that, it, that helps, you know, uh, rest, uh, stop thinking about something and let your sub subconscious mind, subconscious, I don't know how to say a word, but subconscious mind, <laughs> subconscious mind uh, figure out what you need to do next. Um, the floor is also, if you see the floor on the old painting, it's really flat. I don't know, it doesn't have a lot of, I don't know, it, it could be much better. And that is one of the emphasis that I took uh, to, to fix. Uh, that's one of the th one of those things that I thought about in the beginning that I, I really needed to fix. Re remember to check your your black and white guys. That is also very important. Uh, every time I grab a photo from uh, grab a photo and paste it in in my painting, I usually to see if they are sitting right, I usually check the black and white, not the colors, because the black and white is the information that matters when you are trying to make the painting look cohesive, you know, to make the painting look better. And I wanted to show all the mistakes I did. Um, if you see, I didn't cut out uh, Maybe I should have, <laughs> but I didn't cut out the all the the tries that I did to create the the plants. Um, I'm using a lot of different techniques to separate the 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 leaf, but at the end that that is the the leaf that I end up using it. Uh, I don't know why I didn't try it before, but I had a leaf. Uh, open up all the time and I didn't try it <laughs> and that was the leaf that ended up working. Painting away. As you see there the, the black and white information was, was wrong on that photo. I make I the you see me there? I already using the when I started using that I thought yeah this is it. <laughs> I don't need to spend more time finding the right leaf because that one was working already. Uh, I needed to change the colors a bit but it was working um, from the beginning. I don't know if the shape was, was working. Um, 
the colors I could ar arrange that later change that later I actually was frustrated for the amount of time for the amount of, of time I spent I was frustrated for the amount of time I spent working on that tree actually Right, thinking about it, finding some of the edges. I also wanted wanted to collapse uh, the side part of the house. I think it will be more interesting. Uh, I was playing with the light to to the, the 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 colors overall. I wanted to make them more contrasty to make a better piece uh, because the original was very dark. It was very dark. It is one of those things that uh, I don't know helps a lot. To with time, you get better at identifying your issues, your mistakes. Yeah, I was using me here and using like uh, the channel selection that I was talking about to mask it out those uh, plants on the uh, for the ground. Uh, that actually worked really great, really great. I wasn't expecting expecting it to use to work that great from, since the beginning. Um, I usually when I do that kind of that kind of when I use that kind of texture, I I paste it paste them in and I use a mask to erase around what I, I don't need. Flip it the canvas is really good too. Um, there I use I grab a photo from an instrument. From, uh, I grabbed a photo with an interesting rock and placed it on the back uh, to make it, uh, I don't know, to make the house feel like it was placed in a, in a forest, you know. Uh, don't, don't make the background too dark. Uh, that was one of the mistakes that I actually had. I wanted to push the atmospheric perspective way more than before. Um, another photo to grab a tree to make interesting shapes. Uh, I, I usually, um, I don't know. I usually I, I use different techniques to to cut out things. I usually do a selection. Other times I use erase. Other times I do a mask and erase it with that. I don't know. I just I don't think about it. You know. It is like the first technique that comes to mind at that moment. I was trying to make the foreground a little more interesting because uh, I wanted to feel like she's within the forest. So to do that, I needed to so, um, make her feel like a surround a lot of leaf and trees and vegetation so that's why I started to add a lot of vegetation on the foreground uh, also the, veget the vegetation <laughs> the vegetation the vegetation have a lot of uh, a blur effect I like to make it more since like in the foreground like it was not as important as the other things it's one of those little details that you don't even I don't know, I, you don't notice it, but I think that you feel it, you know? Uh, rem remember to analyze your paintings. Uh, don't, don't forget to uh, stop, think about it. Uh, maybe have some drink, come back, and start painting again. You see me that I was trying to maybe try something else, but uh, switching the layers up. You see me that I'm stealing things from everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. Um, I grabbing photos and stealing part of, of it. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> the, only th the only thing that I care is that the painting looks good at the end.
playing a lot with the foreground because uh, remember that the, the the things that I in the foreground uh, gets a little darker uh, so I was pushing that pushing for that All right, painting a lot, painting the foreground, playing with the shape of the house. Uh, at that moment, I I was thinking that I should add a little bit of vegetation, vegetation to I can say that word, <laughs> vegetation to to the house in front of the house to create like an overlap effect effect. So grabbing references it is very important. Uh, I saw that photo and I thought about changing the shape of the door. Uh, I wanted the door to to be like to have like a more interesting feel. I I was trying to see if 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 a different door door will be better. My my artist friend suggested me that I should make the shape of the door sexier that I should make a better a better door so I thought it was a good idea and I started playing with that you see me there? that is the right photo and I paste it in, change the color, change the shape I'm using match color uh, I don't know why but the window of the match color is not showing in, the, in my recording I think it is because I was using OBS and the the recording was not showing the the other windows. I, I decided to break the the door and I don't know, make it look like a thief, you know, like a fangs, so an animal thief or something like that, <laughs> to make it more creepier, like a more uh, scary place to enter, you know. I, I grabbed some st steel from <laughs> again steel from everywhere. I grabbed some photos and I thought that the interior of the window was really interesting and I decided to to grab some photos from everywhere, you know, and paint on top of that. I didn't use it on the on the less left side, but I used it on the right side. Also playing with the sharp edges. Uh, Make it look like the cloth was breaking down. Hey, you see my face again. Uh, the reason <laughs> that you see my face sometimes is because I was streaming. And when I stream, I usually show my face. You know, there's a better way to interact with the people. Um, at this point, I was, I was a little bit excited. Uh, I was happy with how the painting was turning out. Was turning out. It was a really fun to to paint this again. <laughs> I, I also wanted to impress my artistic friend. He 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 didn't tell me to do anything. I mean, he he saw the the other one. He told me make it better. Delete the tree that was on the right side. That's all <laughs> all what he said. And I come up with. Um, I think that I come up with something much interesting. Uh, I mean, I deleted his, the, the tree that, that he told me, but I, I added so much more stuff to the piece that, than what he told me. Again, lay, lay, laying down plants uh, in front of the house to make it... to create an overlapping effect. effect and to make it more interesting overall overall and to make the house feel like it is inside the forest you know it is not um, I decided to vary vary up the textures uh, on the floor on the floor too so I grab it I grab some mud te mud texture from I don't know I don't remember from where but <laughs> I usually don't pay attention from to from when I grabbed the texture, I think it was cool, something like that, but yeah. Now you know, more texture to make it look like a little wet. Uh, there was a, a stretching is very important, guys. Something uh, that I try to do every time. 
Uh, I got a bad injury recently and I couldn't paint very well for a couple of days and it was really bad because I needed to, to finish on deadlines and I was very pressured to to paint but I couldn't because my hand was really hurt, hurting. Um, again play, playing uh, playing around with the visual library for the visual the, the shape language sorry <laughs> with the shape language uh, I wanted to create more creepier trees and I found some twisted uh, branches and some twisted uh, kind of trees and I thought it was a really good idea to to, to change uh, the shape of the tree to make it look more interesting and more accurate to the image that I was doing. The visual la la lang language is very important, the shape language is very important to, to, to a painting because basically the shape language will, will emphasize the emotion that you are going for. If I create like a I don't know, regular tree with uh, fluffy shapes, uh, rounder sh um, much rounder shapes, uh, beautiful. You know, if I start adding like a flowers, colorful flowers and that kind of stuff, that is not going to help me with the feeling that I'm going for, which is a, a more scary or creepier, feel creepier feeling. Uh, going back to the tree with another texture, that one is the texture that I end up using it. Uh, finally, <laughs> I stopped worrying about it. Checking your black and white. Black and white is very important. Taking breaks, taking breaks uh, is very important. Stretch a bit, walk around. I can't stop saying that because it is really good to do that. Take some water. You see me there grabbing some interesting, uh, more interesting trees for the back. Using match color again to place them on the back. And I was uh, making sure that I didn't uh, change the, comp the composition. If you see around around her face, there is like a, a gap in the tree. That is intentional because I want you to look at that part. And I want to create like a contrast in the head of, of the girl. Uh, this time I'm wasting my time <laughs> because I was painting on the character, but I end up changing it. I changed the character because my artist friend told me that the, the colors was great, uh, it was really good, but the pose of the character was a little stiff. So I end up picking another photo for that. Uh, Sadly, uh, I didn't record that part. I don't know why I did that, but the the process of integrating integrating the other characters is not in this video. Uh, but it, it is the same technique. I mean, photo bashing is the, it is the same technique that I used before. Uh, some match color and painting on top and that kind of stuff. Um, at the end, what takes a lot of times. Uh, is the details once you have the general composition and that won't change the painting at the end, you know. Again, some breaking the door a bit. Um, it is very subject, subject. I can't say that word. Subjective, subjective. I don't know subjective to to make the shape uh, shape sexier. And I don't know why it is that hard, but. I spend a lot of time changing the shape of the door. Uh, it's one of the things that you recognize once you see it, but until you see it, <laughs> uh, it won't feel right. I, I I think that that the shape that I end up looks much better, but I didn't know uh, what to do with the shape, and it's, it was one of the things that you have to try a lot of different things, and at the end, it will. When you see a, <laughs> that you are that you did something great, you will stop because you like it, you know. <laughs> I also added a little bit of uh, atmospheric perspective. I changed the shape of the pillars of the house because the house was feeling like a, a howl of my 
of a grandma, you know, <laughs> of an old lady with those things. I don't know why it is, but it felt like a, the house of a of, a, of my of, a, of my grandma or something like that. Again, um, making some details, painting a bit, changing, <laughs> changing a lot, fixing the light. Uh, I was trying to be accurate with the light information. Um, Painting some grass on uh, in front of the house. Uh, that is one of those one of one of the scenes that I did to make the house to be more integrated with the with the forest. Okay, so I want to do an overpaint episode. I always learn a lot from seeing other artists paint on top of other artists work. When the level up guys were doing that, I I always thought that I was learning so much because you can see the mistakes that the people are, are doing. And if you make the same mistakes, you will learn a lot from that. I'm not saying that I'm the best artist for, for doing overpaints and help you be the masters of the masters because I feel that I still have to improve a lot of things. But I still wanted to do the, the overpaint episode because I think that, that they are very helpful. So if you want to get overpaint for me, uh, send me the artwork to my Instagram account. A link to my Instagram account is in the description below and I will select them randomly, randomly, randomly. If you like the type of content that I create for this channel, remember to subscribe, that helps a lot.